Hey guys, welcome back to Theater Advice. Um, today we're going to go over setting up a proper setup of a projector. So someone asked me, can I go over proper setup of the LS12000? I happen to have one, so that's what we're going to do. But quite frankly, this is the way you set up any projector and it's the way any projector should be set up. So the first thing you're going to do when you have a projector is if it's on a shelf, and he asked me to go over this too, so I'm going to touch on this. It's on a shelf in this room. The only reason I did it on a shelf in this room is because I wanted to put two next to each other and there's a drop ceiling. It has to be attached to the metal up uh, above. So in a house though, shelf versus um, hanging from the ceiling, easier to hang it from the ceiling. Wire management becomes easier. When you hang it from a shelf, in order for it to not look like crap, you have to go to the back wall, which you don't always have access to, get power and cable ran down the wall. You also have to have a shelf that's 20 something inches deep, which they don't really make. So we had to make that one. It's industrial here. I don't like it. So I am hanging on the ceiling versus shelf. However, I am team put it in the wall when you can. If you've got a uh, closet or a attic space or something like that, most craftsmen can put it in a wall behind you. So that's something we do all the time. There's a thousand pictures of my website like that. So I'm team hide the projector if you can, but ceiling over shelf. So that's, that's that. But Having said that, if it was flipped upside down, hung on a ceiling, when you turn it on, um, even though most of them are on a ceiling, uh, it is upside down. So it's really kind of stupid. So they're meant to be on a shelf, I guess, technically. Um, so you have to first go in there and turn it upside down. We've already done that, so I'm gonna skip that step, but that's step number one. Um, step number two, you're gonna pull up the pattern. Um, some, some projectors have it, some don't. Um, so first thing you're gonna do is kind of get it, uh, pull up the pattern. Now, this is the most important thing to understand. When you hang it on the ceiling, you want your projector to be straight and level in all ways, yaw, pitch, and, and, and uh, tilt, okay? So what I mean by that is you need to go underneath the projector, look straight up at it, and make sure it's not turned to the left or turned to the right. That's yaw, I think. I'm not a pilot, but I'm pretty sure. So you're gonna aim it straight. Make sure it's straight, then make sure it's level, then make sure it's level this way. You want it to be level, you put the level this way on it, put the level that way on it. You hang your projector level. Now, in those weird cases where the projector is really high, wife wouldn't let you have it on a longer pole because it looked like crap, you will have to keystone and things like that because as you turn a projector down like this, the uh, rectangle that is shooting turns into a trapezoid. So you have to electronically fix that. And that's something called keystoning if you don't already know. And it is in some and not all projectors. So you have to be careful with that if your projector cannot be hung um, or <clears throat> cannot be hung where it should be. Um, secondly, just common rule of thumb, anywhere from the center of the, of the screen on up is fine. But uh, typically when a projector is hung upside down, you want the lens to be about at the same height of the top of the screen. It is that way in this case. Once you have your projector level in all ways, then you go to this, okay? You don't try to fix that over here. You get it perfect, then come over here. So we're gonna, on this particular projector, we're gonna go, um, I love that I could screw up. I just shot a commercial where I had to shoot it 50 times because I had to read some dumb script. I like when I can just screw up and keep on rolling. So what I like is, uh, you pull up the lens, you do focus last by the way, so go all the way to zoom and shift. So zoom, I already know we're there, but if you're not there, you can kind of see, right? So if I go and you know zoom in, I'm like, all right, well, that's obviously not good, right? So you can get it zoomed to about where it's gonna hit, and then you're gonna hit lens again, go to shift, and if you hold it down, it'll go really, really far, or you can kind of like get it close and then start stepping, and then you kind of go up if you have it already, you know, fairly level. I actually have to mess with that shelf some more because it's not perfectly level, but for this, let's just pretend that it is for now because I don't feel like getting on that ladder today. And we're gonna go back to lens shift. You want a little over scan, right? So you're, you're kind of, you know, you get, it, you get it the best that you can, get it over scan, um, get it level. After that, we're gonna go to focus. When you go to focus, you really wanna get up kind of close to it. On the, on the LCD projectors, you're gonna see a little bit of a grid. I always pull it out of focus on purpose. I get it near and I just kind of pop back and forth until it's the best it's gonna get. I get out of there. Some people think that they're done. Um, when projectors ship, uh, all projectors for the most part have three panels in them, okay? Um, and those three panels, just like those big LCD or a big CRT projectors back in the day where they had a green, a red, and a blue hole, those projectors um, do what's called convergence. And what that means is three panels converge to give you one image. 
Convergence is something that's very, very important and it's overlooked far too often because I guarantee you it's off. I think it's off in this projector and I've already messed with it because it moves and stuff like that. So every once in a while you wanna check this. Um, on this guy, it is under panel alignment. So we're gonna go under panel alignment, make sure that's on. We're gonna go select our color, let's do red first. Because um, when projectors have what's called red push and you see like the image is too warm, it's because the panel is converged out so you're seeing more red than you should. It's not converging with the other colors. So we're gonna go to start adjustments and I hope that you can see it when I ask him to get in close here. Um, we're gonna start with shift the whole panel. So once we do shift the whole panel, it's not gonna be way off, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it is, okay? I see a little red push there. If he can get real close to it, right above my finger, it's not perfectly white. This is nice and clean. This here has red push. So if I bring that forward, you're really gonna start seeing it push. That's called red push. That's where you're gonna have more red in your picture than, um, than other colors. As I bring it down, and if the lights are better in the room, I can make it disappear. So that's the whole thing, you're just trying to play peekaboo with the red. Now I see blue push though, so we'll get to that in a second. So we'll hit enter and we're gonna adjust the four corners. Adjusting the four corners will generally get you there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of start to top left. If you can't see the top left, you're gonna go to the next one. I can see that there's red push to the right. I'm gonna go to the left a little bit, make it disappear, I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna go to the right, I see red push to the left. I'm gonna bring it back in, it's gone. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna actually go down and to the right on that one kind of messy. I'm gonna go back over here. I mean, it was off and I've calibrated this projector before, so it shows how often it just kind of gets wacky on you. Uh, I'm gonna go down and to the left. So what you're trying to do is get as close to a white hash mark as you can there without any coloration. It's super important because if those panels are not converged, you're never gonna focus 100% properly. Um, they all do it. JVC, Sony, you can always pull up convergence. It's super important. If you've got a I'm just gonna show you this. If you've got a one that's just wonky, you're like, man, I don't understand. I got red push here still and I already messed with it. Like that one, there's a tad red still. I'm gonna go two clicks to the left, enter. Now I'll go exit. So now I've saved, I fully reconverged my projector. Super important. Now, believe it or not, it's noticeable immediately. So on all of these words before, there was like a red hue to the top or the left because I had red push. So these are no different than those white lines. You're gonna see it on your menus mostly. So. You know, when you do it properly, your menu is gonna clean itself up there a little bit. You can always go back in and focus and mess around with stuff like that. Um, from there, you're gonna to wanna to go into, into color adjustments and things like that. Um, I would watch my color adjustment video, honestly, because projectors and TVs is the same, I use the same methodology unless I'm starting to get into tweaky stuff. If I wanna put in a Spears and Munsell disc or something like that and really um, dive into black levels and dive into projectors don't have black levels though remember but if I want to dive into trying to get as black as I can um, messing around with you know some some gammas some uh, you know a lot of a lot of really really cool color patterns and whatnot and really really dive into it feel free pull that disc up mess around with it but for the most part I use bright cinema because it's the brightest the projector is we're using 95% light output plenty in this room going to 100 nothing wrong with it with this projector my brightness, contrast, color saturation, all that stuff, you can check my numbers in here. I've messed with it. That's about where I'd leave it personally. I really like uh, the way it looks like that. Um, these projectors are coming better and better out of the box. If you feel like tweaking, go ahead. If you feel like using HDR, I'm not a big fan, so I'm sure not gonna show you how to make it look good because I don't think it looks good. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time doing that. But uh, that is how you calibrate really any projector, at least out of the box. Um, those couple steps will really get you there. You'll start to see a lot cleaner, um, a lot cleaner images, a lot cleaner white levels. You're gonna you know, pull a lot of that warmth out of the whites and um, hope that helps you and uh, happy projecting and whatnot.